How's it going? This is Mr. Bellamy, and I'm going to show you how you can make your own solar eclipse um, with some paper, just some construction paper, and it's a great way to record the data if you want uh, with your thing. I'm going to use blue this time. I made one with yellow and black. I'm going to make one with blue for the blue sky and show you how we do that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my paper in half. And then I have a compass here, so I'm going to use my compass to make me a half circle. If you don't have that, you can freehand it. It's not going to matter horribly. You do want it more in the middle of the paper. Um, a little high, but it's still going to be able to work. And then what you're going to do is you are going to... A ruler works best, but when you don't plan on having a ruler, you do with what you got. So you're going to go about an inch above and an inch below, or you can go a little less above, but you definitely want an inch below. And you're going to go about seven inches on your paper and then stop. Same thing at the bottom, about an inch. That might be a little more than an inch, but that's fine. And I'm going to bring it about seven inches and stop. So when you're done, you're going to have it look kind of like this with your circle there. Now, when you have this, you're going to cut out your circle or your half circle, I guess. And then when you unfold your paper, please make sure you're making your fold on your folded end, not on your open end. If not, it's going to have two open spaces and you just wasted a piece of paper. So, or you're going to learn how to glue really well. All right, so you cut the circle out. And I am the best cutter ever. No, not really. So you have your circle there and then you're going to cut your line while it's still folded just cut straight to the end bottom and the top and i would have your name to begin with all right so when you're done you have a side that you've drawn on i would flip it over so it's on this side right here to look just like that all right, we're going to set him aside for the moment. Now, you're going to take your paper here, and I don't have a pencil in here. Let me see if I can find a pencil. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your circle that you just cut out and put it on your paper. If you put the lines here, that's going to give you an indicator on the wide side because you're going to want to big handles to hold on to so you want something similar to that and then just trace your circle each half or you can fold this in a hot dog manner if you want to make it easier you can fold it like this and cut out I haven't tried that but that's going to leave a fold on your sun and I or my shape to uh, my moon I guess this is what's going to show my eclipse and you just cut that out da, da, da. Da, da, da. it's an eclipse time of day da, 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 da. all right and then around da, 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 da. to there and you're going to have Saturn, basically. So, my side I wrote on, I'm going to take my blue sheet on my, and put it on my yellow sheet. And I'm going to glue the very top and the very bottom down onto my yellow paper. So, put some glue at the top. And at the bottom, I don't want to glue my sides, and you'll see why here in a moment, hopefully. Now, if you don't want to use glue, or if you don't have time for glue, or you got 8,000 kids, and they're getting glue all over you, and you don't want to wait for it to dry, staples will work really well. 
Also, um, my only problem with staples is you have to worry about them poking themselves at the back end or the bottom with staples. Um, if you don't want to use staples, you can use tape and just tape the top and the bottom end, um, which should work also. All right, so when you have that, it should look like this. Then you're going to slide your moon that looks kind of like Saturn in, put the handles on the top and the bottom. And the reason we didn't glue our side is because your moon doesn't quite always fit. And so it's going to stick out a little bit. And then as the moon phases go by, your kids can slide the moon or their uh, eclipse phases go by. They can slide it across if it's more of an up and down you can turn your paper that's going to be the best way until the eclipse is over and if you want you can even have them on your line down here they can draw lines down and then when they move their moon phase or lift up their thing they can write down the time so um, it was at this phase at 147 and then they can have it there and then just draw lines like this at the top and bottom and then when they move it they'll have their time there and then they can take this back and they can redo it as they write in their journal or whatever you want to do with them all right hope you like it um give it a like have fun